On the blockade was one Admiral Farragut, who was noted for being a very brave man, who ne'er was known to be scarcified ne'er a bit, and his vessels and all kinds of ructions he ran. He gave a large party one day to his squadron, officers and men, he invited them all. And if you pay attention, I'll just try to mention the row and the ructions at Farragut's Ball. Twas myself I had a free invitation for me and my shipmates, every one. And quickly it proved me a nice occupation, sponging a hole in the big nine inch gun. I handled the sponge and the rammer so gracefully, all the company loudly did bawl. Be grapes, you're a jewel, you do it so tastefully, you're just in time for Farragut's Ball. When we got there, they were dancing a poker, Farragut's Poker, says I by me soul. The funniest poker that e'er a mortal danced, nothing but whistle, crack, bang, whiz and howl. The boys were all merry, the girls were all frisky, but the devil a girl was there at all. Not even as much as a noggin of whiskey, to blazes, says I, with Farragut's ball. There were torpedoes served round to all of the company, and a new kind of dish that they call ricochet. There was hot shot and rifle shot, shrapnel and canister, till at last we were all of us inside the bay. When the rebel ram Tennessee raised merry murder, commenced training her guns and shooting at all. When a monitor swore that they'd stand it no longer, but they'd have satisfaction at Farragut's ball. A murder me boys, and then there was ructions, the Tennessee right for our Admiral Hyde. But he quickly replied to her innate introduction, and poured a whole broadside slam bang in her side. The Richmond Brooklyn, like a wanna and two or three, knocked off her plate and smokestack and all. So we spent five days at Pensacola Academy, learning some steps for Farragut's ball. At length she was battered and bruised up so perfectly that a stopper we put on to all of her pranks. And Buchanan, who'd got his leg broken below the knee, surrendered his ship and his crew to the Yanks. The ladies in Mobile, they all raised a doleful cry, and loudly for vengeance every one of them bawled. For they'd lost the price of their dresses and finery when their darling was taken at Farragut's ball.